Introduction to Crop Improvement Methods. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to discuss the different methods involved in crop improvement. Dogs, cats, rabbits are some of the pets loved and cared by us. When a pet is brought home for the first time, it finds it difficult to adapt to the new environment. So it may take some time to get accustomed to the new environment. In the course of time, the pet may express signs of dullness and may even refuse to consume food. Once the pet is familiar with the people and the surroundings, it feels comfortable to move about. Finally, it recognizes its family and begins to play with them. Likewise, each plant requires time to adapt to a new environment. Initially, when a crop is introduced in a new place, its growth proceeds at a slow pace. Over a period of time, it gets adapted to the new conditions and expresses stable growth. Later, it is considered suitable to be domesticated in that region. The stages of introduction, acclimatization and domestication are a part of the crop improvement process. Let us now discuss the process of crop improvement in this segment. Crop improvement is a process through which plants are genetically modified to meet the requirement of humans. Generally, crop improvement procedures are carried out to increase crop yield and create resistance against biotic and abiotic stresses. The crop improvement methods involve plant introduction, acclimatization, mutant braiding, polyploidy, tissue culture, genetic engineering. In this lesson, we will discuss plant introduction and acclimatization process. Plant introduction It is defined as the process of introducing plants from their native regions to a new locality. On the basis of adaptation, plant introduction is categorized as primary introduction, secondary introduction. Primary introduction In this type, the crop is directly introduced to a new environment for commercial cultivation without any alterations in the original genotype. Example, IR8 and IR36 varieties of rice. Secondary introduction. This involves the process of selection and hybridization for isolating a superior variety of crop. Example, Sonalika and Kalyan Sona wheat varieties. Further plant introduction can be categorized into two types based on utilization. They are direct introduction, indirect introduction. In direct introduction, the crop variety introduced to a new environment does not require time for its establishment. While in indirect introduction, a variety introduced to a new environment requires time for its establishment. The steps involved in plant introduction are procurement of germplasm, quarantine, cataloging, evaluation, multiplication and distribution. In the first step, procurement of germplasm, a person who introduces genetic material of the germ cells to other countries must obtain permission from the introduction agency, NBPGR, that is, National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources. In the second step, quarantine. A new plant material is observed for infection of insects, pests, diseases and weeds in an isolated condition. In the third step, cataloging. The quarantine cleared plant material is registered and information such as origin, species name, crop variety and its morphological characters are recorded. During the evaluation process, the introduced material is evaluated at different agro substations to assess its resistance against diseases and pests. The evaluated material is then released as a new variety. As the final step, the released variety is multiplied and then distributed to various regions for cultivation. Merits of Plant Introduction it helps in releasing new high yielding crop varieties. Example, IR8. 
it favors in releasing new plant species. Example, triticum estivum, demerits of plant introduction, emergence of new weeds like icornia and parthenium, outburst of new diseases like bunchy top of banana from Sri Lanka and late blight disease of potato from Europe, multiplication of new pests like potato tuber moth from Italy, acclimatization, the process by which a new variety of crop adapts to a new environment is known as acclimatization. Basically, the crop having more variability adapts more easily. That is, cross-pollinated crops adapt easily to a new environment than self-pollinated crops. Domestication It is the process by which plants are genetically modified over time according to the requirements of humans. Crops can be domesticated by two methods natural selection and artificial selection. Natural selection. As the name implies, selection occurs through natural means, that is, without any human interference. This was theorized by Charles Darwin as survival of the fittest. Artificial selection. It is also called as selective breeding. In this method, a plant with better qualities is selected for the breeding program. The breeding process is repeated for several generations and the variety with better vigor is multiplied and released. Four types of selection processes are involved in artificial selection. They are mass selection, progeny selection, pure line selection, clonal selection. Mass selection. Here, healthy plants are selected from a mixed group of crop population followed by collection of seeds. The collected seeds are then processed for multiplication. This method of selection is known as mass selection. Progeny selection. It is the process involving selection and cultivation of cross-pollinated crops. On the basis of performance, superior plants are selected and released as a new variety. Pure line selection. The process involves the selection of self-pollinated crops that are later cultivated in isolation. From the isolated varieties, the best offspring is selected and released as a new variety. Clonal selection It is the process of selecting asexually propagated crops that can be combined with the hybridization process to produce a new variety with superior quality. These are the different ways followed in crop improvement. Summary Let us do a recap of what we have learned so far. Crop improvement is the process of changing the genetic variation of plants. The methods involved in crop improvements are plant introduction, acclimatization, mutant breeding, polyploidy, tissue culture and genetic engineering. Four selection methods involved in artificial selection. Mass selection, progeny selection, pure line selection and clonal selection.